listen, I don't know what you're talking about. There was no live stream just attempted to upload this vlog for your faces in time. And it just happens to be, oh, coincidental that, oh, wait, it's Sunday, not Saturday, the 19th of August at 25 minutes past midnight. That would confirmly say that this was a daily vlog uploaded late, which it was, but you know what? Today is my third year of daily vlogging. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm, I'm taking the break. I'm taking a break just for this one day. Just one day, all right? Just let me off this one day. And if you don't, you're a Jon Snow bloody bastard. But yeah, without further ado, I'm gonna let you enjoy today's vlog. That's like one minute long. And then there'll be a recap leading to something epic. And then a bonus bit of trailer vlog at the end and if you're like trailer vlog what does that mean just wait and see till the end and more importantly if you are new around here make sure you click that subscribe button make sure you ding dong that notification bell leave a thumbs up like rating we've done three years of daily vlogging and i will see you guys tomorrow at 6 p.m for the next daily vlog <laughs> maybe time to start my day with a lovely breakfast at a garden center where they sell lots of trees successful day so far i've had a meeting and a phone call with jaguar and things are looking very good. Like, I know it's been going on for a long time now, the conversation, but things are sounding amazing. Today is going to be a good day because we're taking my granddad to the Jaguar garage to go and hopefully, if everything goes smoothly, test drive the Jaguar we're going to be getting. I'm at the Jaguar garage. There's a Jaguar that I'm after, that one. That is pretty much exactly what I would take, but with um, carbon fiber wings and stuff like that. Do you like it? <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Damn. Today is the day we're going picking up my granddad's new car as a surprise. He thinks I'm in America. Psych, I'm here. I think I'm safe. Well, I'm gonna come and have a look at the motor. Yeah. James told me we we're here yeah. to start. I'm gonna have a look in the boots. Spencer, I'll just pop it for you. There you go. Happy birthday! Hey! <laughs> 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 I'm alive, I'm still here. <laughs> 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 Happy birthday to you! Ooh. Oh, look at that, the bays together. You ready for this? You ready for the scrape? The scrape. Oh, Mike's, Mike's cringing. Mike's cringing. Is it just a plastic underneath? Yeah, it's just a piece of plastic. Oh, it sounds so sexy. Not gonna lie, it does look pretty fucking sexy outside the house. <laughs> I could actually take this car now. This is a 5 litre V8. Absolutely beautiful, but it's not the SVR. And if I want the SVR, uh, which is the 201 mile per hour one, not that I even need that. Uh, I have to wait uh, four months for it to get built. So I absolutely love the car and I thought it was amazing, but the thing we never tested was I've got a drive and it's so goddamn steep that we call it Mount Karim and Jaro. So we decided we'd bring Jaguar, see if we could do another test day in like just the normal F type, drive it down my drive and see if it would fit and maybe see if we'd have to modify the drive. Oh my God, this thing is absolutely beautiful though. Now we're effectively redesigning the drive. Oh my gosh, look how steep it is. Ooh. Ooh, snap. Ooh, snap. Oh, is the wood going to give away? It's still done it. It's still done it, Nice, and now the back end? Spoil exhaust. <laughs> Damn. So, we're going to have to actually alter the drive. Moment of truth, take two. Let's see if it'll get up. Ooh, there it is. There's the car. Ooh. <laughs> so because I was really interested in the Jaguar F-Type, I didn't want the F-Type, I wanted the SVR. So my local dealership actually got one in stock. And this was my reaction to seeing it for the first ever time. The SVR, holy shit, it's beautiful. It's got the carbon fiber spoiler on the back. Oh my God. Yeah, that's pretty beautiful, man. Oh my God. It can do 201 mile per hour. Yeah, I'm, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm deafening everyone on my road. <laughs> I feel like I'm in a rocket ship. Oh my god. It's just, it's actually scary to be in. All right, so it was at this point that Jaguar had actually seen the video of me surprising my granddad with the actual car. Because the video got like 3 million views. And the guys at Jaguar were like, this is amazing. We've seen you've taken an interest in the SVR. We want to invite you to a private racetrack where you're going to be taught how to drive it. Like, have the entire day with it and it's just going to be awesome. And I must say, whilst I was there and I wasn't allowed to speak about it, they were actually filming the new Star Wars film at the current time. So I actually saw the Millennium Falcon in 
in the middle of this racetrack because drones weren't allowed to fly over this area. It was a place where prototypes get driven. Like, it was the most secret place. So Star Wars chose that as a spot to film on. And I actually saw the sets before, like, the rest of the world did. But I wasn't allowed to speak about it. Oh, my God. Look at this thing. <laughs> <laughs> the exact same one I'd want as well. <laughs> Jaguar F-Type. SVR. This thing does 201 miles per hour. This thing is a goddamn beast. Fuck a dog, that's dangerous. You ready? Yep. Oh my fucking god! Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Holy shit! Yes! <laughs> yes! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Team, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. You're a living legend and Laura in there is absolutely incredible for making this happen. This is exactly what I wanted to do today. So where I was in conversation with Jaguar is like, listen, I basically wanted to get a working relationship with Jaguar to just be able to go and do cool shit with them. They had a Formula E race team and I wanted to like go to the races, support them there. Like I've never been into like football or something like that, but like I absolutely love cars and like Formula One to me is like a bit too old school, but Formula E is incredible. Like they've got a limited amount of battery that they're allowed to use, got to switch the cars and in the race, if they actually use up their entire battery, the battery literally runs out then they're just out of the race so it's more intense throughout the entire race because as much as they might want to overtake the person in front of them they might have to preserve their energy in the battery so they don't run flat and that's the thing that actually happens so because i wanted to work with jaguar and the race team they invited me out to the reveal of the brand new e-type out in Las Vegas. And not only that, they flew me and my dad to LA, where in Los Angeles, the laws were a bit easier to allow me to drive the F-Type SVR from LA to Las Vegas, which was like a four to six hour drive, where there's nothing but highway and just tear it up the entire time. Obviously doing the speed limit. So that's exactly what me and my dad did. Oh, <laughs> saucy. I cannot believe I'm back behind the wheel of a Jaguar SVR. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you the Hollywood sign. Oh yeah. This is Dan, by the way, from Jaguar Racing. Hey, there you go. Zombie response vehicle. That is amazing. We made it to the hotel. It's dial. It's the fanciest car in the hotel. So they do this at all hotels. If you park in a fancy car, they park it out front. Like they've not paid for it to be here. They've just put it here. So, uh, my baby, my baby. This is nice, but we've seen this before, all right? Look at this concept. Oh my fucking God. Can I get out now? I feel like I'm sat in the Mona Lisa. So after getting to know the racing team and all that sort of stuff, all was good in the hood. From that, I went out to Paris to go to one of the races. And obviously I took my drunk sister. Hell yes. Baby cool town to it. What? Baby cool town. Where? Down here, right? You have got this in the bag. <laughs> this is a first place vehicle right here, I believe. Cal wants one now as well. <laughs> this is David, an absolute, Amazing driver. I am. Dad, if you're watching this right now, I'm sorry you couldn't be here. I brought. Where are you? I brought. Where are you? Don't say that. Don't say. Ken, Ken, where are you? I brought these to instead oh. of my dad. Hello, so Ken. if you want to say hello Ken. to my dad. Hi Ken. Uh, I'm sorry you're not here. I only came to for me because I thought you were going to be here. <laughs> Frankly, I'm a bit pissed off you're not, but I hope you had a great day. All the best. David, it's a savage. Oh my God! I love him. <laughs> My first blog now. <laughs> Thank you very much for taking part in my uh, Tachi Parlor. Is it weird that I know all the lyrics to this song? Why does my hair look so big? <laughs> <laughs> what was that deep breath? <laughs> Resuscitation. Resuscitation. <laughs> Alice is li <laughs> Al <laughs> Look at that. I tell you what, that is goals. So Paris was amazing and after Paris I was in talks with Jaguar for so long about like working together and all this sort of stuff and I wasn't going to end up working with them until like the next season of races started. Now the new season came around and everything was looking good, we were still in conversation, all was good in the hood but unfortunately things just didn't pan out and I was absolutely gutted. I had everyone like on a day to day basis tweet me like Tom what's going on, what's going on, what's going on and to be fair because the conversation just went so quiet I kind of just gave up and like went and did my own thing and then I'd say like 12 months later I received a phone call when I was in America snowboarding at the top of a mountain basically telling 
tell him that I'm going to be working with Jaguar soon and on my 25th birthday, for a 25th birthday present, I was going to be getting a fully specced out Jaguar F-Type SVR in my style, in my color, in my everything. And I was about to start working with Jaguar. And you better know I was so damn excited. And the reason why I say my 25th birthday is because up until this entire time I was talking with Jaguar, like, listen, I would love to, you know, like get one of the F-Type SVRs, be driving around in it and all that. And they were like, yes, this can happen, this can happen, this can happen. And when they got to like one of the final stages of making it happen, Somebody kind of worked out and realized that, hang on a minute, Tom isn't 25, so regardless of Tom working with us so far, or working with us now, he has to be 25 to be able to legally drive this car on the road. Because that's just the rules in the UK. If I don't want to just go out and buy the car, and instead get the car from Jaguar themselves. So at least I knew where I stood. And as part of the conversation with Jaguar that when I turned 25, I'd be working on getting my own F-Type SVR, and as part of my deal of working with Jaguar, I was going to go to Mexico and be involved in one of the races. That's right, actually being involved in like a secret race that was happening. And I couldn't say anything to anyone, and I was so so damn excited. I told Jaguar I was 100% down. Let's do it. Book it in the dates. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Organizing it with my management team. Everything was perfect. I do the deal with Jaguar and on my 25th birthday, I finally get the F-Type SVR. And in just insanely unforeseen, like unfortunate timing, uh, it worked out that I was going to be able to do a Make-A-Wish and not just only one Make-A-Wish, but three Make-A-Wishes on the exact same day of that Jaguar race. So I had to turn around to Jaguar and was like, I know we've been in conversation for so long. I am really sorry, but the Make-A-Wish comes first. And I went and did the Make-A-Wishes down in London with these kids instead. Jaguar were totally cool. They understood that this was like my priority number one. And I had to say goodbye to the deal. And because I had to say goodbye to the deal of like the Mexico race, that also meant saying goodbye to the deal of the Jaguar. So it basically just worked out insanely bad timing for me and Jaguar. But at the end of the day, I went to go and do the Make-A-Wishes and they were absolutely incredible. The conversation there between me and Jaguar just went quiet because, you know, we got so close, like it was built up to like almost like, I think, buying the tickets and all this organization. And then it was like, oh, hang on a minute. We, we've got to put this all on pause. We've got to stop it. But there was no being able to rearrange the Mexico dates because it was all set in stone. And there was no rearranging the uh, Make-A-Wish kids because as soon as they were available to be seen, I was going there and doing it. And things went quiet until I got a random text off Rich from Jaguar. He was like, yo, I've got like a private chat going out to Portugal. So when I was in Greece with Carl at the wedding, the next day I randomly flew out to Portugal. That's because I went out there to go meet up with Jaguar and check out their new iPace. And this is like six months later after we've spoken. So after all this time of not speaking, I randomly get this phone call being like, yo, do you want to come out to Portugal? I went there, met all the team, met all the staff again. Everything was great. And I re-sparked the conversation with them. Like, listen, I'm really sorry I couldn't do this, but the maker wishes came first. I knew it sucked for both parties, kind of like, you know, in the essence of they had stuff planned for me and it's something I've been working on them for such a long time with, but the kids came first. Sorry, that was a notification saying someone subscribed on Twitch. And again, they understood, they got it, but I told them that I so badly wanted to work with them. It's my dream car. Like, I met Ian, the guy who designed the actual F-Type SVR, and I told him, like, the story of, like, getting my granddad a Jaguar and all this, and even even he was like, get this guy a goddamn F-Type SVR. And it was just really funny, and, like, everything panned out really good. So I am in talks with them all. Um, I am having these secret meetings that you guys can't be involved in. That's why I can't really film my day, but it's just a bunch of madness. And can I just say this right now? I'm currently filming this video clip at 11.52. So this is some weird inception because you'll be watching this live on YouTube because I have to get this video uh, <laughs> Like edited together then live streamed on my vlogging channel And as soon as this Tom stops speaking you'll see like a live Tom who's gonna look the exact same But I'm sorry about this being late like my, my past few days have just been all over the place with like Meetings and secret stuff and stuff I can't tell you about so I'm sorry I've not been able to film it, but it's just the way it is. So that was the recap of what the situation is with Jaguar and you might be like, well, what was the point of this? Well, I had one of the, I think the most important phone calls I've ever had with them that is leading into the perfect right direction. And I'm saying there's going to come a time where I'm going to need you guys. And when I say I need you guys, I'm like, I'm going to need you. I'm going to need you to have my back because we've got something that we just need to absolutely just destroy and, and, and just smash this sort of event that we've got in the organization like works. So if I can count on you guys to have my back, we could be working on something seriously epic. It's going to be a massive win for you guys. And then finally, after three years, you may see your boy behind the F-Type SVR. So I'm sorry that today's vlog wasn't like really a normal vlog, but it kind of was something that I need to talk to you guys about and what to tell you about. And it's leading to something epic. There are these other random clips from today. All these cards, pretty cool. Netflix and chill. Haha, <laughs> hilarious. Um... <laughs> <laughs> And let me do you one even better. <laughs>
Ken, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm not even joking, that is truly something I could see my dad doing, like posing for a calendar or something. I'd do it, I'd totally pose naked for a calendar. I feel bad about saying that my dad would pose naked, so I'm tempted to buy him um, some Crocs with built-in socks. See, these are the kind of snacks at a cinema that I'm used to, but oh my gosh, chocolate popcorn. A lot of calories was just normal popcorn, and you better know I'm going watching the brand new Equalizer 2. Ooh. And apparently, this cinema's dead fancy. Oh. Yeah, look, there are special laying down seats. How cool is that? These seats recline. Oh, yeah. And then a random trailer? You can find whatever you wish in Turkey. Star Trek, very good. It's great, you're helping all these random people and everything. Men like him would think that. Stay off the radar. What's the matter? Something happened to baby. So I'm obligated to look into it. Call 911. I figured you for some kind of teacher. I'm a high level pig. Baby! <laughs> Thought you were retired. Oh, I am. Just like you're dead. <laughs> I'm sad to report that the equalizer, I just gave it a four out of 10 on Twitter, just saying that right now. I'm retracting my statement, I'm giving it a three out of 10. It was absolutely pants and I'm gutted, like honestly gutted, they did Denzel like that. Terrible. So guys, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for the support over the past three years of daily vlogging. I'll probably talk about it more tomorrow, so it's a bit more personal, because I just need to get this video up now, because this video is technically the 18th, not the 19th, and the 19th is when it's my three years of daily vlogging, but as soon as though it's technically like, it's technically uh, the 19th of August right now. So I've been daily vlogging three years, and if you've been following me and supporting me all that time, you're absolute legend. So make sure you leave a like, rate, and subscribe. Turn on that notification bell by giving it a twang. Follow me on Twitter, I'm on there all the goddamn time at Pro Syndicate, and I'll see you guys tomorrow at 6 p.m. for the next daily vlog. Maybe. But until then, much love and sadios.